Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Disha and today we are going to do class 11 NCRT chapter number 3 that is units and measurements. So let's get started. So our topic for today is units and measurements. Measurement means we are going to measure and units means like a proper thing. Right. So first of all, in units and measurement, the first topic that you will ever learn anywhere in class 12th, class 9th, in units and measurement, the first thing you will learn will be physical quantity. What is physical quantity? Quantity. We can repair, we don't have to write this long name physical quantity again and again. We can represent physical quantity by two letters, capital P and Q. Now what is physical quantity? So physical quantity is the quantities which are Measurable means the quantities which can we can which are measurable. What is physical quantity? The quantities which are measurable are called physical quantities, and also physical quantity. What and also physical quantities uh, is which describes which describes the law of physical world. Physical quantity also describes the law of physical world. So these are the two points that you will need to learn for a physical quantity definition. So you may have uh, like heard this formula or have seen it somewhere that PQ is equals to n into u where n is the numerical value and u is the unit you may have heard this formula physical quantity is equals to a numerical value into unit so now we have started about the physical quantity and we can say unit is also like a comparison like we can say unit is also can be used as a comparison thing meter centimeter like that thing. so now we have three types of physical quantities now what are they let's see what are the types of physical quantities There are three types of physical quantities. There are three types of physical quantities. First is fundamental quantity. Fundamental physical quantity. Now what is fundamental physical quantity? So fundamental physical quantities are the quantities which do not depend upon any other physical quantities. Fundamental quanti physical quantity means they are not derived from any other quantity. So there are seven fundamental quantities. So let's make a table. First of all, let's make a table. There are seven. So let's make a table about them. By the physical quantity. Here the unit and symbol, symbol of the unit. Okay, first the most important, first three important things, one, two, three. So first three are the most important and they are used for dimensional formula also. For getting the dimensional formula, they are also used. 
first we have length. Unit of length is meter. And the symbol is small f. Next, second we have mass. Mass unit is kilogram. Symbol is kg. Time. Time unit is second or small s. I hope you are noting down everything. Next we have temperature. Next we have temperature. Temperature is Kelvin. That is capital K. After that we have electric current. After electric current is ampere. We represented by capital A. Next we have luminous intensity and last is amount of substance. So luminous intensity. Luminous intensity is the most less used in every science. Amount of substance is the most used I guess not in physics, we don't use amount of substance in physics. We use it in chemistry. So luminous intensity is candela. Even like, uh, low, uh, you have to give less focus to luminous intensity as it comes less in textbooks and all the questions are really less and amount of substance is mole we represented by m o l so these are the fundamental physical quantity so there are seven fundamental physical quantity and except these all seven every formula every you can name any formula they will be made out of all these Physical quantities could be what it would be made of one physical quantity to like imagine I have area. Area formula is uh, length into breadth. We can say meter into meter. We can say length into length. We can say meter into meter. So area is also derived from length. We can uh, say um, speed, distance upon time. Right? Speed is distance upon time. Distance is length and this is time. Every physical quantity can be derived from these quantities. And the examples that I gave. The examples that I gave right now were the example of our next uh, physical quantity that were of derived physical quantity. Derived means they like if you have a project, listen, I'll give you an example. First of all, listen, if you have a project, okay, and you can't understand it, means you understand it, but less, you did not clearly understand it. And if your friend makes a project, he brings the project to school and he shows this to you. So you get some ideas out of it. Like you take some ideas out of his project and put it into your project. That's called deriving. So derived physical quantity, I gave examples like area, velocity. You get lots of every other formula is area and velocity only. Next, third physical quantity that will be the last topic for today is supplementary physical quantity. So there are two supplementary physical quantities that are plane angle and 
pain solid angle. So you can get an idea that pain angle will be two dimensional and solid angle will be in 3D. Means three dimensional. Okay, like I have a two dimensional square. This angle is called pain angle. But if I have like this, I have a cap. The angle that is forming inside, it is a solid angle as it is three dimensional. So how can we find out? So I have an angle. Wait, let me draw it bigger because I have to label some stuff. So we have an angle. Okay. We have learned in math this is called arc, this is radius. We can call it theta also. Theta. This Q symbol is called theta. Okay, this Q symbol is called theta. And the formula is arc upon radius. So in this, theta uh, means basic, uh, means uh, standard unit, we can say unit is radian. We represent it by R A D. So in this theta unit is radian and we represent it by R A D. Okay. And uh, we have also learned like 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radian. In maths, uh, 11th class or 10th class, you have learned that. And 180 degree will be equal to, we just divided by 2, pardon. Will be pi radian, right? Like this. So, I hope you all got it. Now, let's move on to the solid angle. Now, we will start about the solid angle. So, imagine we have a cone. Okay, we have this cone, this is arc, this will be the R I guess, this angle that is forming is also theta. Okay, in this equation, the formula for theta will be A upon R square and unit will be steradian, steradian. Dn, we can represent it by S D. So everyone, that was all for today's video. I hope you like this video and please don't forget to share with this with your friends and family so they could learn about units and measurement about physical quantities. And I will soon to release more videos in less time. But my school is going on and uh, that's why I only shoot on Sundays. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe and bye-bye. Have a nice day.